We are so glad you are interested in submitting an abstract for the APNA annual conference. To help you get going, we're going to talk you through how to use this site to submit your abstract. First, go to apna.org slash call for abstracts. Here you will find information about submitting an abstract, as well as tips and tools to get you started. When you are ready, click the Submit an Abstract button. You will be taken to a screen that looks like this. Click the blue Login button in the upper right corner. Here, you can either log in with your existing APNA account, like you do for APNA.org, or create a new account if you do not already have one. If you do not see the Login button, then you are already logged in. You can then click on My Applications to start your abstract. The My Applications screen is your homepage while you are logged in. Here, you can see a list of your drafted and submitted applications and abstracts. To start your abstract for the APNA Annual Conference, click the drop down menu and select APNA Annual Conference Call for Abstracts. Then, click the blue Launch Application button. The first page of your abstract submission will include basic information about the abstract, including links to resources, key dates, and more. If you scroll down to the abstract fields, you will see that your contact information has automatically filled in to reflect you as the primary presenter. Please note, if you are not the primary presenter on this abstract, please do not submit it through your account. The primary presenter will need to log in to their account on launch.apna.org and submit the abstract. Scroll through your contact information to confirm that it is all correct. Then, enter your qualifications for presenting on your proposed topic in the box, complete the disclosure information, and type your full name. If you have off-label use or conflicts of interest to disclose, a box will appear where you can provide more information. Please complete it before typing your full name and clicking Save as Draft. A quick note about saving. We recommend clicking Save as Draft as often as possible to make sure that your progress is saved. When you click Save, you will be taken to the top of the most recently completed tab and this message will display. Click Close, then Next tab to continue, or click a tab at the top of the screen. Once you click Save as Draft, you can always go into the My Applications section to see your saved drafts and continue working. The next tab is the Additional Authors tab, where you will list the information for any other authors and presenters for your abstract. For example, if you have one author who is not coming to the conference and one co-presenter, you would select two from the drop-down menu. The author not coming to the conference is an author not presenting. The co-presenter is a presenting author. If you are presenting alone and do not have any additional authors, please select zero from the drop-down menu. Enter the information for your additional authors, including their disclosure, then click Save as Draft at the bottom of the screen and progress to the next tab. Here, you will enter the information about your presentation, including title, session topic, category, and target audience. Make sure you select your category before continuing, as this will create the fields needed to complete your abstract. The presentation format section refers to how you want to present your information. As a two-hour pre-conference session, 45-minute concurrent session, 20-minute mini concurrent session, or poster presentation. You will need to choose which of these formats best suits your information and give it a ranking as your first, second, third, or fourth choice. If you only want to be considered for one format, for example, as a poster, give that format first choice and select NA for the rest. Depending on your choices, you may be asked to provide additional information. For example, 
If your first choice is a two-hour pre-conference session, you will be asked to provide justification for the longer time slot. If you are presenting a poster, you will need to indicate if your poster is medical education supported. Scroll further and add information about your abstract. You'll notice as you type that the word count beneath each box will update. Once you hit the 250 word limit for your abstract, a window will pop up letting you know that you cannot add anything else until you edit your previously written text. Remember, this word limit reflects the cumulative number of words in each section of your abstract. Next, enter your presentation summary, learning outcome, and educational outline. The presentation summary is what will be presented for your session description in the printed brochure and on the website. It will be used by conference registrants in determining what sessions they will attend. Note that there are also word limits for each of these sections. When you have finished these sections, click Save as Draft. The next tab is the Release section. You will need to click an option in each section, then click Save as Draft and progress to the next tab. This is the final tab before your abstract is ready to submit. Read the confirmation, click the checkbox, then click Submit Final Proposal. If you aren't ready to submit yet, you can click Save as Draft. Once you click Submit Final Proposal, you will be taken to any pages where you have not completed the required information, or you will return to the My Application screen where a message confirming your submission will display. Once you have submitted your completed application, you will also get a confirmation email that has information about your submission in it. Need to make a change after submitting your abstract? Not to worry. Simply go to My Applications and click the green pencil next to your abstract. Here, you will be able to make any necessary changes before the deadline. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact us at inform at apna.org. Thank you.